So today I'm going to be playing Hollow Knight, but I can't heal. What that means is that I can't sit on benches or focus. And I also can't do extra stuff like go in hot springs. My goal is to reach the end of the game and beat the Hollow Knight. Okay, drop down, and I might as well get some extra Geo. I will allow lifeblood though, because it doesn't heal, it just gives you more stuff. Then of course I'm going to get Fury of the Fallen, which is going to be very helpful. However, you might have noticed that it says to equip a charm you have to be resting in a bench. Well actually, if you die, then it auto puts you onto a bench. Okay, there's a speedrun trick. Can I pull it off? Let's go! First hit down. Just gonna swipe him a bunch. Yeah, you just work on that over there. I'm gonna just break this. Whoops. Uh, how do I get back up? Excuse me? Well, now I am at the Ancestral Mount, so I can get the Vengeful Spirit. I'm surprised that I've gone this far without dying, because I actually did some practice, and I was messing up super hard and just constantly taking damage, but practice makes perfect, I guess. Please drop the boulder, thank you. Got 200 Geo from that chest up there, and now it is time for me to move over to Green Path. I'm finally in green path, which shows that in some way I am progressing. Come on. There we go. Now I'm going to save Zoke, because that gets me extra Geo. But I might die also, and I don't want that. So, gotta play it right. Oh, never mind. That was extremely easy. The Hornet fight begins, and it's time for me to immediately die. Oh my gosh, please do not kill me. I'm not in the mood to die. Oh, double damage. Let's go. Oh my gosh, first try Hornet. I'm insane. Now I'm back at the Ancestral Mound, and I am ready to go on to Fungal Waste, get the Mantis Claw, and then move on to Soul Sanctum. I have to carefully get across here, just inch my way through, because the Acid... I will go through here solely for the Charm Notch. There we go, easy charm notch. Only one hit taken. Oh my gosh, I never even saw them. Okay, careful. Don't accidentally drop onto another mantis. Oh my gosh, I actually got it. That was very stressful. Now of course I'm gonna quick warp back for fast, oh. I remembered I wanted to use the city crest. I guess that means that we're doing shade skip. Okay, here we go. Get the free hit on there. Climb up. Oh, never mind. I messed up. Oh my gosh. First try. I guess that means I'm getting early dream now, which is exciting. Let's go. Now, of course, if I were to get the Dream Gate, then I would need some Essence, so sadly zero. It's time for you to die. Get in the first Nail Upgrade. Yay, I'm going to be more powerful now. And then I can beat the Watcher Knights. Okay, now that I've opened up the City Storeroom Stag Station, it's now time for me to move down to Soul Sanctum. And here we are. Already things are not going great. I got two of them cornering me. Of course, we're starting this off with a wonderful soul warrior, and hopefully I can defeat him. Fury of the Fallen is probably going to carry this so hard. Easy. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this one. And I didn't. I instead died. No. Oh my gosh. That is so unfortunate. I have no idea how that even hit me. Wow, okay, first phase, easy. 
I'm just afraid that I might make one slight wrong move and then I gotta go through the soul sanctum again. Oh yes, let's go! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm finally in Crystal Peak. Not that things are gonna get any easier, but at least it's not Soul Sanctum. Now I could fight Crystal Guardian, but that seems like a terrible idea right now because I'm about to die. And I'd prefer to just get the Crystal Dash than have to go through another fight. Okay, now I'm entering the area that allows you to get Crystal Dash. However, this is going to be quite difficult because I can easily take damage. But at the same time, I miraculously came here with max health. So as long as I play decently, things should go pretty well. Wow, I don't even know why I thought that that would be a challenge. I went through that without taking a single hit. Yay, I got the elegant key. Let's go. I used the elegant key, and I'm now entering the second fight against the soul warrior. Oh my gosh, why is this so obnoxious? Just the flying guys keep getting in my way. Oh my gosh! No, that was that was such a good dodge, and I messed it up towards the end. Oh, okay, I did not know that that was a thing. Here's my third attempt, and as you know what they say, third time's a charm, and they were never wrong. Yay, I consumed the Shade Soul. I can finally start working on other things. Oh my, okay, now I'm with the Nailsmith, and I'm gonna get the next nail upgrade, which is going to be very helpful when fighting the Watcher Knights. And now that I'm fully prepared to fight the Watcher Knights, I won't fight them because I still need to get Dreamgate. So I'm going to walk over, beat some ghosts, and then move on. Soul Tyrant gives 300 essence and he's right next to our spawn point, so he's going to be an easy one. Okay, I'm doing pretty well so far. I just got to be careful. And hopefully have some extra masks before the second phase. There we go. Okay, okay. Things are going well. It's always so close. Like he's just about to hit me. And I dash out of the way. Oh my gosh. Second try. That's free 300 essence. I just need to get 500 more. So maybe I'm going to do some trees and fight Gorb and Elder Who. I'm going to take this lifeblood just so I can have a backup during Gorm. The lifeblood didn't even matter because I got hit by everything on the way there. That's okay, because I'm going to send with Gorm. Easy kill. Now I'm going to get an extra 100 essence. Now this boss is much easier with Shade Cloak, but last time I checked I didn't have that power up, so... Okay. I have all the masks, so there's no way I can lose this time. Please. Please. No! Oh my gosh. Why was Elder Who more challenging than Soul Tyrant? Okay, now I'm gonna go over to the left of Ancient Basin so that I can fight the Broken Vessel and then fight the Lost Kin so I can actually get both Essence and the Monarch Wings. Open up this pathway for later, and now I'm gonna go on to fight Broken Vessels and get the Monarch Wings. Desolate Dive is so helpful during this fight, because of that one attack, this one. And just like that, he's done. Now I'm actually not gonna fight Lost Kin immediately, because I have three masks, and if I enter the Dreamer fight, then I get healed, so I have to enter it with all my health. So instead I'm gonna open up the Hidden Station, and then kill myself and then move on. Okay, I'm going into the last kin fight and things should not be too difficult as long as I focus. The annoying part about this fight is how unpredictable he is, and yet it seems like he always goes to which location you want to go to next. And I mean like sometimes I have fun with him, but what's even worse is that he has these little balloon looking things chasing me at every moment make it so that I focus on them and then it gets a surprise attack be behind my back making things even worse come on I'm so close 
I've hit him so much, please. Let's go! Get wrecked, bro. Yes! Now I finally don't have to travel through Soul Sanctum just to get back to whatever I was trying to do. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to deal with Lurian and fight the Watcher Knights. And then I'm going to get Isma's Tear down at the waterways, deal with uh, Monomon, and then finish with Hera, and then beat the game. Now of course I gotta break this chandelier to make my life slightly easier. Dream gate, and then get ready for another difficult fight. Please. Okay, already not off to a great start, but that's okay. Okay, hopefully this time I can do better and not get hit as easily. Okay, this fight is not going as well. There we go, and I only took two massive damage. Just like Lost Kin, the Dreamers will heal me if I were to ever step into their domain. So I have to kill myself right now. Here we go. Oh. Oh, never mind. Hey, Dung Defender. With Desolate Dive, Dung Defender is just an extremely easy fight. Of course, you still have to know his other attacks, but... The fact that you can damage him while he's underground is very helpful. Let's go. Double damage for the kill. Well, technically not kill, because he never ends up dying. Now with Isma's tier obtained, I can finally finish this challenge by getting the last two dreamers. I might have taken a few hits on my way to the archives, but, you know... We got Dream Gate. Now Umu is kind of a kind of like a medium difficulty. Sometimes Umu is very easy, and other times I struggle. Now I've never once cycled Umu, but I have beaten her plenty of times. So this isn't going to be impossible. I've officially defeated Umu, and now it's time for me to go and uh, kill Monomon. Let's go! Now I'm gonna head up to Queen's Garden so then I can go straight to Deep Nest. Okay, here's the hole that leads you down to Pain. Okay, now that I have plenty of Geo, it's time for me to buy the Lumafly Lantern and, of course, move down to Deep Nest. I think it's this house I have to go to. Yeah, yeah, in here. Oh, I just realized, oh, no, 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 okay, okay, so for me to get into the beast den, I have to sit on the bench, but you know the rules, so do I, please, let me go up, here, let me try something here, oh my gosh, I'm insane. There is a way to access it without the bench. Okay. Oh my gosh, that really stressed me out. Okay. I've set up my final dream gate, and it's time for you to finally finish this challenge. Come on, come down from there. Okay, I gotta focus on this one. Oh, okay. That's okay. Oh, this is perfect. I guess just spell twister. Oh, final hit. Let's go! I finally have done it. I just focus everything. Just end it all. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please be sure to check out my other content. See ya!